Since past few years, NTA has been showing extra favoritism towards this topic, which is system of linear equation. Let's learn this sure, sure topic, which is how to solve system of linear equation using Cramer's law. So we are studying homogeneous system. In homogeneous system, we have been given three equations related to three unknown. Three variables are involved, but you can see the constant is zero. Hence, we call it as a homogeneous system. Now, Cramer's law says that when delta, your determinant, determinant is non-zero, then you have trivial solution related to all three equations, right? And when your determinant is equal to zero, it has non-trivial solution or you can say infinite many solution. Here, trivial solution means that only 0, 0, 0 is going to satisfy these equation and non-trivial uh, solution means that there are so many values of x, y, z which are going to satisfy this equation. By the way, what is determinant? What is delta? Here, delta is nothing but a determinant which is formed by coefficients of this particular system. So, a1, b1, c1, you can see the coefficients. a2, b2, c2 will be in the second row. a3, b3, c3 will be in the third row, right? So, didn't get it? Let's revise this through a problem. Let's understand with the help of a PYQ. So suppose we have this PYQ, right? This is the previous year question from J main itself. And the question says that the system of linear equations, so we have been given three equations and you can see this is a homogeneous because right hand side you can clearly see is nothing but zero, right? Now question says it has a non-trivial solution. Right, what do you mean by non-trivial solution? That means your determinant will be equal to zero and you need to figure out what the value of x by y plus y by z plus z by x plus k, right? So first of all, let's focus on this k, how to get this value of k by actually applying the condition of determinant should be equal to zero. So we have already formed this determinant this determinant is formed by coefficients 2, 3, minus 1, 1, k, minus 2 and 1, minus 1, 1. You can see, just solve this determinant conventional method and get the value of k. So, k is coming out as 9 by 2. Now, the whole question is asking you to calculate x by y, y by z and z by x value. So, what I'll be doing, I'll be having these, these three equations and now, by now, I know the value of k. The value of k is nothing but what? 9 by 2, right? So, 9 by 2 is the value of k and you need to figure out x by y first. So, for obtaining x by y, you need to eliminate z. How to eliminate z using these three equations? Just simply add first and third. Z, Z will get cancelled out. So, the moment you add first and third, you will get 4X minus, sorry, plus 2Y and Z, Z will be gone. So, X by Y will be is equals to minus half, isn't it? Similarly, if you subtract 1 and 3, right, if you subtract 1 and 3, X will get cancelled out and you get a relation between Y and Z, right? So, it will become 4Y minus 2Z is equals to 0. So, Y by Z is coming out as half right y by z is coming out as half and now what you need to do is you need to eliminate y to eliminate y you actually need to multiply third equation by three and then add it with one right the moment you add these two equations y will get eliminated and it will become 8x and then plus 2z is equals to zero so plus half minus 4 and the value of k is plus 9 by 2. That's what we need to figure out. These two are getting cancelled. So, what is the value? So, basically plus 1 by 2 is the value of this which is matching with option A. Right? So, I can assure you that you will get such questions in your upcoming JEM in 2024. So, if you have learned this, 4 marks straight in your pocket.